Prince Harry's tearful phone call with Chelsea Davy the day before his wedding to Meghan. Prince Harry had a tearful phone call with his ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy the day before his wedding to Meghan Markle, according to reports. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex tied the knot three years ago at a beautiful ceremony in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. Their anniversary sparked controversy recently, because the royal family did not congratulate them on any of their social media accounts. However, the couple seem as happy and strong as ever before, welcoming their second child just a week ago, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. One guest at their wedding was Harry's ex-girlfriend, Zimbabwean businesswoman Chelsea, who he dated on and off for around seven years, several years longer than Harry has known Meghan for. However, she was not invited to the more exclusive evening reception at Frogmore House. Nevertheless, Harry reportedly felt he should give Chelsea a courtesy call to settle any emotions ahead of the big day. According to Vanity Fair, they shared a tearful phone call, in which they acknowledged that Harry was moving on. A source claimed, it was their final call, a parting call in which they both acknowledged Harry was moving on. Chelsea was quite emotional about it all, she was in tears and almost didn't go to the wedding. In the end, she went and promised Harry she wouldn't try and gatecrash the party. The pair first met in Cape Town during Harry's gap year in 2004. They reportedly had a turbulent relationship and finally split in 2011 because Chelsea disliked being in the spotlight and did not like all the fuss associated with being a member of the royal family. They stayed friends, however and share several mutual friends. Royal correspondent Katie Nichol told in style ahead of the royal wedding that Chelsea and Harry have the utmost respect for each other. She added that neither were completely willing to let go of their intense romance. Ms. Nichol said, you sort of get the feeling that neither of them were quite ever willing to completely let go of that love affair. They'd carved their names into one of the tree trunks on the family estate. It was such a love affair, it really was. It was also reported that Meghan gave Chelsea a hug at the wedding, even though it is protocol for non-royals to curtsy to royals. Prince Harry's other ex-girlfriend, actress Cressida Bonus, who he dated from 2012 to 2014, was also invited to the wedding. However, no one from Meghan's romantic past was there, including her ex-husband Trevor Engelson. Meghan first met the Hollywood producer and talent agent in West Hollywood in 2004 and they lived together in L.A. for several years. They tied the knot in 2011, but the marriage only lasted two years before they called time on the relationship, citing irreconcilable differences in their divorce papers.
This is believed to be in large part to the fact they were living so far apart. Megan had moved to Toronto to film Suits, while Trevor was still working out of LA. Megan then dated chef and restaurateur Corey Vitiello for around two years. Meghan and Harry first met on a blind date in 2016 and the rest is royal history.